Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all well. It is Friday, so that means one thing. We are ending the week up with this Zygarde Sogaleo team that we've played for the last couple of weeks, and it's been so much fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've tweaked it a little bit along the way, but we've had a lot of success with it. We've been able to overcome a lot of the calls that we've had troubles with. We've had some incredible games the last few days as well on the channel. We had Juan, we had Winmore yesterday. So if you've missed any of the games from this week in particular, make sure you do go back up to here. I'll put a card in for you to go back and look at those battles because they're definitely worth checking out. This team has been incredible. I've had so much fun playing it. I love Zygarde. I love Sogaleo as well. They're both really good Pokemon. But the one Pokemon that we did make a change to at the start of the week was the Raikou. And it has really stood out as doing an official phenomenal job against all sorts of different threats that you see commonly in this format so something I would definitely suggest you trying out in in the future in the rest of this moon series remember that we haven't got very long left in the moon series so if there are teams that you would like to see played going into the last couple of weeks that we've got left before going to the ultra series then do leave your comments down in the comment section below with requests and I will try to cover as many of them as possible over the next couple of weeks but getting into today episode guys without further ado let's just hop on the battle spot ladder let's get some music on because what's better than music nothing anyway um yes if you enjoy this sort of content make sure to leave a like do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these daily battle series that we have coming out a guide series a flinch squad circuit our stream uploads and everything else and in between but we've gone straight into it with our first opponent of the day metal lot so they are running a team of Incineroar, Kyogre, Ludicolo, Lunala, Stakataka, and Tapcoco. Right, what have we got? We've got the Kyogre, we've got the Lunala as the restricted pair here for my opponent. They've got the partnering Pokemon support options there. Ludicolo going to be with its Swift Swim, Fast Fake Out, potential Z-move alongside that Lunala that could be the other user there. We've got Incineroar with the Fake Out support as well, Intimidate support. Stack Attack are going to be the Trick Room option on this team. We may see a Trick Room Lunala. We can't discount that from my opponent. And then the Tapu Koko, they're going to have Terrain Control and really help everything out and function and get around sleep issues and stuff like that. I think Raikou's really nice here again just because it's got that snarl that can really dent the opposing Lunala. We've got the electric that's going to really help us out especially if that electric trains up against the Kyogre. We do need to be a bit careful against that um, Ludicolo but we can play around that and manage our board position um, well enough to kind of alleviate those issues. So I think what we'll do is we'll lead Raikou and hmm Ah, <sighs> what do we do here? I kind of want to lead Finny, but I don't want to really overwrite the electric terrain if it comes out. Because um, I want... I'm going to lead Toxicroc. Finny, and I think I'm going to bring Zygarde as well as our last one in today. So. Hopefully we didn't run out of time, so... We'll go into it, we'll see how we get on in this last episode today as we say a fond farewell to our Zygarde Sogaleo squad. It's done us really well. I mean, we're up above the 1700s now, I think. Well, we were, but our last match might have taken us just below that. We're close to it. We're going to end up over 1700 today, hopefully. We're going to see the Tapu Koko and the Lunala come out for my opponent. We've got access to that fake out this first turn, which is really nice, and access to... Um, the Snarl, which is also really good, but I think the one thing that I probably want to do is just Snarl here and switch out type of, uh, Toxicroc because it is threatened quite heavily from the Lunala Psy Shock here. Um, it might mean losing the Tapu Fini, but we're going to have to be really, really like precious with our Toxicroc here. We need to keep it for the, the Kyogre late game, that stack attacker that could potentially be in the back as well. The Snarl is going to be really useful for us. We're going to see the Tapu Koko switch out, the stack attacker come onto the field. Probably feels pretty safe right now with the uh, the Toxicroc covered from this Lunala, especially if a Psy Shock does come out from that slot. Um, we are going to just get the Misty Terrain up with our Tapu Fini though, overwrite that Electric Terrain, which is pretty nice for us. Get the Snarl off, which is going to be useful into that Lunala, break that 
Shadow Shield, reduce the special attack there, but we'll probably maybe even see a Trick Room come out from it this turn. It wouldn't surprise me too much if we do. And there it is. There's the Trick Room coming out from the Lunala. We have got that Snarl off onto it, which is, which is pretty useful. Um, I think now we really want to try and get the Reflect up and hope we don't get fear rock slid by this stack attacker um i'm just gonna throw out a heal pulse into raikou as well just to try and get this this um this reflect up we're just gonna see the lunala switch out the tapu koko gonna come back onto the field now get its electric train back up what we're gonna see the stack attacker do though is it just gonna rock slide yeah it makes a lot of sense to tapu fini avoids which is which is good for us hopefully like i say raikou doesn't flinch we can do without that. We'll get the heal pulse into Raikou though, kind of undo any of that damage that's already been done. And um, we'll get the reflect up, which is really, really helpful. Uh, it does pave the way now for us to get the Zygod onto the field. Um, and I think uh, I kind of want to get. Uh, yeah, what I'm going to do, pull a double switch. I don't expect the Kokoko to go into uh, Raikou with an electric type attack. It's going to go into the Finny, if anything. And uh, with the Reflect Up as well, it does kind of alleviate some of the, the dangers that we probably have otherwise switching in um, on a stack attack or rock slide that can be a bit threatening at times. So we'll switch out with the Raikou, get the Toxic Rock in, get Zygarde in for the Tapu Fini. Then in the next turn, we can get our uh, Tapu Fini onto the field. This stack attack is a little bit blind today, dodging these rock slides all over just into the Zygarde. Hopefully we see an electric type attack into this Tapu Fini. We're going to see the Gigavolt Havoc. Where's it going to be? It's got to be into the Finny. It has to be into the Finny slot. It really does. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's into the Zygarde, which is a bit unfortunate. We get that call right. Um, but now what we'll do is get Finny back onto the field, get this Misty Terrain activated. And I think... Um, did we just throw a thousand arrows out? We could see a potential Y guard here. Um... And we could potentially just keep Toxic Croc in and just and Drain Punch. That's the other option, because I don't feel like we're going to go down to anything the Coco can throw out at us. It's Z-Move's gone now. Drain Punch will get the Stack Attacker, and a Thousand Arrows will get the Coco, and it dents anything coming in on that slot. Coco going to switch out. Going to see Lunala come back in. It's not going to appreciate taking a Thousand Arrows unless the Wide God comes out. No, just a Rock Slide. Got to worry about flinches, but we can potentially take down the Stack Attacker here, which would be ideal. Uh, Toxic Rock flinched. Zygarde flinched, of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Um, okay, what we need to do now is get the Finny in now. Uh, get this Misty Seed boosted, and then we can go for the Thousand Arrows. we still got to be a bit careful around the potential Y God that could come out, but like I say, we want to keep the Toxic Rock for the late game when that Kyogre does make its appearance, because it no, undoubtedly will late game. Um, and if we can just remove these sort of things now, it's going to help us to no end. So, the Trick Room's not going to last forever. We're going to see the double Trick Room though. A really nice play from my opponent just to extend that. And going to be able to take that with the Stack Attacker. Uh, get the Trick Room. And we're going to see another Trick Room from the Lunala just to extend that even longer. Yeah, I love this play. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we still got the Reflect up, which is good. Uh, it really does help us out massively. Um, and what we'll do is... Hmm, I think we'll Heal Pulse, Zygarde. Or we could Swagger. We could Swagger. We could Swagger. Yeah, I think we'll Swagger. We'll get a bit greedy. We'll get greedy and go for a, a Thousand Arrows. There's a Gyro Ball. Where's it going to be into? Zygarde. Behind this Reflect. Wow. Wow. Does way more damage than what I thought it was going to do. We should have heal pulsed. Because Moonguy's Beam... It doesn't take us down. We will get our Power Construct form this next turn, but... And we'll probably take another Moonguy's Beam, to be honest. We get the stack attack and we don't flinch there. Um, but in hindsight, maybe the heal pulse would have been a little bit more. It would have been a little bit better. We'll see. The reflectors wear off now, but um, I mean it's fine now because the stuff that was like threatening us physically is gone, and we are going to get a superpower Megazord form and Zygog complete form coming out here. 
I really want a shiny Zygarde as well. I really do. I think shiny Zygarde looks great. And it is Incineroar as the last slot. So, I mean, we don't really have too much to worry about, do we, here? Um, I think what we'll do is we'll switch Finny out. Uh, or do we? I mean, we could just stay in and go Nature's Madness into the into the Incineroar and just protect here with Zygarde just to get around any potential fake out Moon Guys beam double up into the Zygarde slot. And there's a fake out. It's into the Finny, that makes a lot of sense. You know that the air uh, and the Psy Shock. Okay, into the Zygarde here. Um but yeah now I mean we just we, we can just heal pulse Zygarde and um go for that thousand arrows. One thousand arrows U turn coming out. I feel like Kyogre's gonna hit the field now. I think from the damage that we took earlier from the Moon Guys beam, I don't feel massively massively at risk to go down to this. So there's the side shock. I mean, yeah, we should take this pretty well. Yeah, and Thousand Arrows will get Coco. Ooh, and the Lunala just hanging on, but we'll get the Teal Pulse with our Tapu Fini. And Zygarde back in the game. Back in the game. The Trick Room's not got too much longer. I think one more turn, so we just need to get around this Fake Out support, and we'll be able to take both of these targets down and pick up a nice victory to kick us off today. So there's the Intimidate from um, the Incineroar. And um, let's just go. It's just got icy wind now with the tailwind ending, and uh, we'll protect. Even though the, the fake out probably comes into the Tapu Fini here, but my opponent just forfeits, so we take the first game. Very good game to my opponent, and lovely way for us to kick off in today's episode. So we'll go into our next one, and uh, hopefully we can finish with a win because that would be ideal for us to finish up this episode and this run with this squad because like I keep saying I've had such a good time playing it and it's been amazing just being able to play this call that I've had so much fondness for uh, since it was introduced in the Sun series so we will hop straight back on and look for our next opponent so hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our next opponent and we can like I say give this team the send off that it deserves we'll just continue battling I think we need Necrozma version 2 don't we it's overkill a little bit but we love doing it okay and this this is perfect we're on 1698 rating at the moment so if we win this one against Max who's our next opponent it will push us into the 1700s and we get that goal that we've wanted to do for the whole entire time. So let's get into team preview. So we've got Max, and oh, it's really unfortunate because he's got no restricted Pokemon, but he's got a really nice bunch of Pokemon to play here. We've got Incineroar, Staraptor, we've got Superior, Mimikyu, got Feraligatr, and Tyranitar. So some really nice picks here. Uh, some really favorite Pokemon of mine as well. Obviously, the Feraligatr is very cool. Got all the starters there, the Firewater Grass Core. We've got the Mimikyu there that can set up the Trick Room, support that Tyranitar. Got the Staraptor that you have to be a little bit careful about. It has got access to Final Gambit, so we can't just take that lightly um i think what we'll do we need uh did we bring intimidate here i want to bring sogaleo because sogaleo does so well it can get the mimikyu the tyranitar uh the incineral even it's just what we want to do against the star after we have to be a bit careful around the final gambit for sure um i can't i'm gonna lead off with toxicroc it's a faster fake out that we've got access to. I'm gonna bring in Cineroar as well for the Intimidate support and hmm, do we bring Raikou, Tapu Fini or Zygarde? We could bring Zygarde. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll bring, oh, we could bring Tapu Fini for the terrain control. It might be nice. But now nah, let's go Zygarde and let's not worry about uh, Misty Seed in this. So good luck to you, my friend, Max your nice team skull hat on i feel like i need to extend this camera a little bit i keep looking at myself and i'm like is the top of my head cut off but it's not <laughs> it could be it could be i don't know i need to sort the green screen out a little bit 
but hopefully you're enjoying it guys hopefully the aesthetically it looks it looks a lot better ah oh, we've had a disconnect which is a little bit sad and our screens just went completely white so hopefully it comes back on in the mall if it doesn't i'll just cut uh I think I don't know if it was us. It's weird. I don't know why it was us, but it looks like it was us. So we're not going to get that 1700, which is which is really heartbreaking because the team deserves it, and I really wanted to play Max as well. I don't know how we got disconnected. Everything else on my computer, no, it's not on our Wi-Fi. Some reason my home Wi-Fi went completely kaput, so that's why we got kicked out of that last game. Really unfortunate, but we are back now with our second game, so hopefully it doesn't take too long to get into it, find our next opponent, and finally say adios to our team. Um, a little bit unfortunate that we got kicked off, though. Um, but we've got Marco Friero, 1741 play rated player. It's our next opponent, so we'll go straight into it. And we've got that team that we faced yesterday. It's a tough one, but it will be a great challenge for us against that Lunala, Groudon, Tapufini, Serena, Incineroar, and Stack Attacker. So, what are we going to do? We had, we didn't have such a bad time against it yesterday. We know it's going to be a Trick Room Lunala. We know the Trick Room's there on the Stack Attacker. The Groudon's probably going to be banded, so we need to be very careful against that. It's getting that reflect up with that with our Raikou that we need to make sure that we are doing. So I think we'll lead Raikou, we will lead Incineroar. Um, do we bring the, yeah, we have to bring Zygarde and Tapu Fini. It was just such a good call yesterday. So I think that's what we're gonna do. It worked so well. So I think we can, we can quite happily lock in with those four. I do kind of feel like I wanna bring Sogaleo, but it has such a hard time against Lunala that maybe it's better just to leave it benched for this game. So we'll lock in and go straight into it. So good luck to my opponent, and uh, hopefully it's a good one to end us off, and hopefully we can get that win to kind of give the team the send off it deserves. You know, we'll just see what happens. So here we go. What are they gonna lead off with? Gonna see Lunala for sure lead off. With Incineroar, I'd imagine. Yeah, Lunala and Incineroar. Let's see where the uh, the the Intimidate tickers tick over. Hmm. Because I do still feel like the Incineroar potentially on my opponent's end could switch out into Groudon, but it could U-turn as well. That's the other thing, and I feel like you probably. Yeah, I'm going to reflect just to kind of alleviate that and I'm going to fake out into the Incineroar. I mean, I could Snarl as well and then reflect the next turn, which is probably better. It's just if that play works out, it makes it so difficult. We could Snarl here um, and just fake out into the Incineroar, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Oh, the opposing Incineroar wins the speed tie. Okay, that's that's still fine because we still we still get the snarl off. That's the main thing. That is the main thing. Okay. There could be it could be worse. It could be worse. Okay, we get the snarl onto the Lunala, which is good. We see the trick room setup, which is fine. We know that. We expect that. So it's all it's all gold. It's all all right at the minute. So we're gonna get a reflect up. And we are going to U-turn out onto the opposing Incineroar. Probably see the, the the Lunala switch out, the Groudon come in for the Incineroar, um, Stack Attacker come onto the field. Tapu Fini going to hit the field. It does mean again that we can get our Zygarde out. It's kind of playing out very similar to how it played out yesterday. Got to remember that the Finny probably has Haze, if it's kind of like the standard kind of build. Um, and we'll get Zygarde in. So that's what we like to do. But I think we need to go for a coil as early as possible. And it's, uh, now, when in, if this Groudon's coming in, um, it makes it easier not having the stack attacker and the Finny out instead. I don't know. I've got to be careful about the icy wind as well, potentially. Groudon's going to hit the field, which is fine. To start doing some work under this trick room. But we need to preserve this Raikou. Raikou's doing the work now. It's getting that, the reflect up that we need. Um, and we'll switch Raikou straight back out into Incineroar. And we'll start 
we'll get the coil up because we need to we need to start throwing some damage out we haven't got the access to the swagger just yet and um, so if we can get powered up a little bit and start chucking out a thousand hours it's gonna really help us quite a lot in this game because we know how bulky Groudon is generally so yeah just stacking this reflect with this intimidate really neutering this Groudon stopping its ability from being able to do it as much damage we do see a haze which is not ideal do have the reflect up it doesn't get rid of the reflect though and there's no gravity here so we do lose incineral which is just not ideal at all um, we do get a coil, but we're just going to see a, a, a haze this next turn. Okay. If we can stall out these trick room turns, it would be ideal for us. Nature's madness. Or could we swagger? Could we swagger with Zygarde? It just it feels like the Finny has to, has to haze now. So we're just getting damage onto the Groudon, which is the one thing that's really causing us lots of issues and just thousand arrows. Yeah, there's the haze once again. So potent that haze combination with the banded the precipice blades. It's, it's so potent. Okay, but like the reflect is the one thing that's like keeping us in this game. It really is. <laughs> we're doing like no damage back. Which is ridiculous. The problem is now, how many turns of Trick Room we got left? One. Okay. That's Icy Wind. No. No, 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 no. What is this Finny on? Okay. Let's. Nature's Madness. This Tapu Finny. And let's protect. I'm worried about a Nature's Madness coming into Zygarde and then a Press of His Blades. That's what I'm worried about more than anything. So we can Nature's Madness to Finny. Then the next turn we can swagger Thousand Arrows. Then we don't care about we don't care about the uh, the old haze then because we'll be able to get rid of the finny. Ah, oh, heal pulse. That's not what we want to see. That is not what we want to see. Hopefully Finny can take this precipice blade. It might miss. Doesn't miss. Hopefully Finny takes this. If not, we're done. Okay, we take it. A berry will pock. Nature's madness. We're going to lose our reflect soon as well. That's the other problem. Okay. Oh, we're never going to get the ground on. We're never going to get the ground on. I mean, Finny takes another precipice blades. That's the, the thing that we've got going for us. So we could swagger. And thousand arrows. Groudon going to switch out. So this is way better for us. Especially when Lunala comes in. And we can actually nab this with, with the swagger. No! Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? The one time we needed to hit. And it misses. Now we can't prevent the trick room going back up again. We just, we can't. This is really, really sad. I mean, really sad. And the reflect wears off, so we're, we're pretty screwed now. And we can't swagger ourselves anymore. Ah! There's not really much we can do. We can't deny the trick room, and we can't stop the Groudon coming back in now. Um. And there's like there is nothing we can do. We can get rid of the Finny, but then it doesn't alleviate the problem of Groudon coming back in um, and the Trick Room getting set up now with Lunala. There's literally nothing we can do. There is nothing we can do. We can coil, I guess, but then we're not getting the Finny this turn, and it's under Trick Room, and it just keeps on heal pulse. Okay. I'm actually just gonna see the Groudon switch in, which is. I mean. A nature's madness and a thousand arrows. It's probably not going to be enough to put it in extreme speed range. 
No. It's just not enough. It really isn't enough. And there's a trick room, and that's that's game. With Raikou in the back. I mean, we needed that swagger to hit. We get the swagger, we get the KO on Lunala, we get the KO on Tapu Fini as well. Well, not the, the Lunala, but we get the KO. We may get the KO onto it, I don't know. I don't know. But without without doing that, uh, the heal pulse happened. And uh, yes, it's not so good. It's not so good. Um, could we, could, is there any potential chance? I mean, Persibus Blades can still miss, for sure. Um, let's try and get Nature's Madness onto this Lunala and just protect our Zygarde. Let's not give up. I do feel a little bit bad just about that swagger miss. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Stomping Tantrum into the Zygarde. And here's the Z move. It's going to be into Finny. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so there's the Finny going down there. Um, and it leaves Raikou, poor Raikou, to come in against the Groudon with Precipice Blades. It takes away our option of heal pulse, and this stomping tantrum is going to be double power this next turn since it hit into that protect. Um, I mean, the only thing we can. Oh, well, we can't even really. I'd like, an extreme speed's just not going to be. In, not going to cut it at all. Um, we can try a double protect. We can try a double protect. It might save our bacon. We're not going to switch out. Going to see Tapu Fini come back in. Of course. But if the Groudon sticks to that... Well, it is locked into Stomp and Tantrum now. Yeah, we don't get it. And there's a Stomp in. Oh, it's into, it's into Raikou. Hmm. Oh, and I mean now it's just Heal Pulse City with the, the Finny just Heal Pulsing for my opponent. Um, I mean, we can coil. We can coil. We can so do that. Like, we'll take a stomp and tantrum. Yeah. But there's the I. There's no. There's no coming back from this now. Banded Groudon. It's just too nasty to deal with in this trick room environment. When you haven't really got a trick room check. I mean, we get the coil. <laughs> But it's not really helping us now because the the haze just comes out this next turn anyway. Uh, we do get the the power construct ability. Uh, we had that one opportunity where we could have swaggered, taken both things down, and then the game would have been a lot easier to close up for sure. But never mind, it doesn't always work like that, does it? Um, I mean, we can thousand arrows, and we could protect as well. That's the other thing. How many turns of Trick Room we've got? We don't want to just give up. There's only one turn of Trick Room, and I mean, you do haze here if you're Finny. Um, but 2,000 hours, I mean, we get a crit into the ground on it, could change things completely, couldn't it? You never know. So, Stomp in, coming out. Oh, it does so much damage. It does so much damage. Just not doing. We're not doing enough damage. I mean, that's the the one problem. You rely so heavily with Zygarde when you're playing it so bulky. You rely on having Swagger support with it, um, and the Trick Room does end. But we've got no way to take down this Groud, and we can throw out one last ditch attempt to get this pesky Finny. Um, but our Finny was blind, too blind to help us out today. And uh, the Stomp and Tantrum are going to take us down. It's a little bit sad way to end the, the, the matchup. But, I mean, it, it happens sometimes. And you can't always compensate for that sort of stuff. So, very good game to my opponent. And, again, showing how strong that team is. Um, the, the weird thing is, though, in both times we've played this team, like, I don't feel like it's a, it's a terrible matchup. I feel like we can, we can beat this team. Um... And it's just like how how sometimes the RNG rolls. We had the crit in the the first time round when we played it on our Zygarde, which really kind of crushed us. And this time the swagger miss, 
it does really punish us there. So I, it's just little things, little things, and we we will be winning those matches. I definitely do not think it's a bad matchup at all. It's totally playable, and it's because of the reflect on the right key when you're getting your setup. You've got that snarl. It's denying the the finny though, and being able to kind of get through that first round of trick room, and then you can attack things like we tried to do there, but it just goes a little bit wrong sometimes. But never mind. Uh, but thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, regardless of my whinging. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the Sogaleo Zygarde brought onto the channel and featured. It's been a lot of fun playing it, and thank you so much for all of the comments that we've had, all the support we've had over the last two weeks, and uh, I really do hope you have had a good time seeing this team in action. But uh, we'll be back on Monday with a brand new surprise. Uh, featuring something brand new before we, we go on to the Ultra Series very soon. So that is upon us. And um, just have a great weekend, guys. Whatever you're up to, make sure you're taking care of yourselves. And uh, I will see you for our next episode very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.